An eight-day festival of freedom for Jews begins at sunset, and Rabbi Chaim Lazarus, co-director of Chabad of Uptown, is here to explain some Passover practices. This all begins with the Seder tonight. What is the Seder? The Seder means order. Mm -hmm. We have an order to our lives, and Passover trying to get out of what holds us back and make order of all our chaos. So there are a lot of traditions, a lot of food that comes yes. with the Seder. Okay, right. you brought in the Seder plate for us, Rabbi. Tell us about this. So the, the Seder plate, this is a beautiful silver one, but you can use any plate for it. Is it really silver? Yeah, it's beautiful for TV. <laughs> and we have we have the Zroa, which is representing the Pesach sacrifice. Mm -hmm. We have the Beitza, which is the egg, representing also a sacrifice we brought at the times of the temple. The horseradish, that's this. Ah. Horseradish in the raw, right out of the ground. That's, that's just what, the, the root there. That's the root. That's the which where it comes from. And what does that symbolize? So this symbolizes the bitter herbs. The Jewish people were in bitter slavery mm. during the times of Egypt. And we want to get out of that slavery. And so we peel it, we grate it, we fill the whole house with sharpness <laughs> and the experience is to purge all those tears from uh, our lives. Very good. And then what about the fruit? And the fruit is part of the charosa, which is the sweet nut and, and uh, fruit in order to sweeten the bitterness. Mm -hmm. And the matzah, which is the poor man's bread, which is we roll it out. We have round matzah, which we eat to celebrate this freedom. For the Jewish people left Egypt in great haste out of the bitterness of Egypt. Yeah. Now tell everyone what matzah is made out of. It's very simple. Flour and water. <laughs> Two ingredients. Two ingredients. That's and it. Can't have anything else. If there's anything else in it, it ain't kosher. <laughs> so you but you care for stuff. it very carefully, though, yes. right? To make sure that it is just right. It's washed from harvest mm -hmm. to completion. That is, as soon as water touches the flour, no more than 18 minutes for it to rise. And the best kind of matzah is this round, hand-baked shmura matzah. Ah, this is a beautiful look at matzah, that. which is... It, and this stuff like a I frisbee, go, you could throw it. That <laughs> probably would be so brittle, it wouldn't last until you get to the location. Yeah, very good. Okay, so you also have four cups of wine. Right. What is the symbolism behind the four cups? So the four cups is that there's four descriptions of the Jewish people's redemption from Egypt in our, in our Torah, in the Jewish Bible. And we want to express all four types of freedom to get out of all of those things that may hold us back. And everybody has their four. Yes. And so we want to get out of that four types of freedom mm. to go into a, a year that follows after our experience of Passover should be a free one, free of anxieties physically and spiritually. Yeah. Now I noticed you have some very unique wine bottle holders here. So is, is the high heel a tradition? It's my tradition. It's your tradition. It's my tradition. Okay. <laughs> it says, it says in, in Exodus that when the Jewish people left Egypt, they came to the sea and the Egyptians were behind them and the mm. sea was in front of them and they had faith. That even though God, even though it didn't seem there was any way out, they jumped into the sea and crossed the sea on dry land. Ah. So I was thinking, they crossed the sea on dry land. They would even wear their heels they as they crossed that sea. <laughs> Have you ever walked in high heels? Do you know how hard that is? I've tried when I was a kid, and I'm happy I don't wear them every day. Uh -huh. But I can imagine that in the t in, when the Jewish people left mm -hmm. Egypt, it was so dry, they were able to go across the sea. And, you know, that's kind of what, to me, Passover means, is that we should... Take it personally. It's not about the f only about the food or getting right. together with family. It's about internalizing this message. The women that left Egypt really knew and felt that even though perhaps there was a lot of people that were questioning, will they really reach Sinai? Will they really reach the Holy Land? Mm -hmm. The women believed in the actual mission and the message. They left Egypt, it says, with tambourines and, and were ready to celebrate even before the celebration yeah. began. And so Passover lasts until next weekend. Right. Right? Okay, very good. And you get a big comfy chair to recline in tonight after all of this? That's great, yes. <laughs> we have, but the main thing is to, eat the, the, to ingest the three parts of the Seder. Yes. Which are the four cups of wine, bitter herbs, mm -hmm. and the matzah. And the, the cups of wine and the matzah are done reclining. Well, thank you so much for coming in. And happy Passover to you and, and everyone out there. Thank we you. appreciate you explaining it if to us. If anybody wants more information about Passover, they can find it on our website at ChabadHouston.com. Wonderful. Thank you, Rabbi. It's always good to see you.